This is a gorgeous family business. This is Anna and her uncle. Antonio. Antonio. Hi, this is my uncle Antonio. He is the owner of the place. So we are very excited for you to come here in the winter or summer, whatever you want. So we are so excited to have you here. And the price? And the price is 12 euros the night and four plus uh, the electricity. Fantastic. Muchas gracias. Muchas gracias. I can't tell you how much better I feel. I've had a shower, I've washed my hair, I've done some yoga. I'm feeling better. Hallelujah! More fuel again, guys. Again, I got this, I think it's 117.7. And I get these prices by um, looking on Google Maps. You can just go on a Google Maps where you are and hit petrol stations and have a look at the prices before you go because there's a vast difference in some of the prices. Um, so that's how we're finding the cheapest fuel. Google Maps and then choose petrol stations. Again, it's, um, it's not a self-serve. They're, they're filling it up for me. And look here, they've got a laundrette. <laughs> I'm thinking we should shove some washing in the laundry here, go do the shopping, and then come back and collect it. Could, what? You, could you live with that? <laughs> Kids are dying from McDonald's. <laughs> they don't want to die without knowing what a Spanish McDonald's is like. Literally, these are the arguments we're faced with at the moment. <laughs> we're going shopping in Aldi, guys. And having McDonald's. <laughs> right? Which we do. Should we let them go and get McDonald's while we do the shopping? Go on then. George, you excited? Yeah, 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 yeah. Why? Well, I don't. First of all, there's a gym club. And second of all, it's McDonald's. Who is not excited over a McDonald's? Well, that's the boys at McDonald's having lunch while we go shopping in Audi to stock up on supplies. 115 euros. Biggest shop yet. But we're stocked up for a while now. Spain and Portugal, I believe, has um, always got these shades in their car parks. You see that? Of course, the motorhome's not fitting under them, so we're over here. Massive shop done, and now it's time to head to the next campsite, which is just five minutes up the road. Right, we just tried to check into um, what seemed a nice looking campsite. Certainly, the pool was outstanding, um, although it was a bit tight when I was driving around the campsite, but I've driven in, um, blocked the entrance, there's no way to pull over, gone in, asked if they got room, apparently they're full. Um, so they had to let me in and go around the campsite to get out. And uh, yeah, it looked very, very choco. I only just got this thing through there. It's probably the tightest on this trip yet. Um, so Don Cactus, not for us tonight. Um, we've just pulled up at the sea and you'll see there how choppy it is. And we thought, our oh, boys, you could get the boards out, but unfortunately there's a red flag up, so there's no swimming in the sea. So we're gonna look for the next campsite. Campsites don't seem to be working out for us today, so we're gonna have a plot twist. And instead, we're gonna look for an air with services right on the beach and have a beach day tomorrow, I think. You know, I, I, in the UK, I know campsites are fully booked at the moment, um, with everyone now able to travel and get around, and it's similar in, in Spain. I guess the Spanish are allowed to travel, they're all going to campsites, so um, no worries. We'll keep moving on. We're driving about an hour down the road to Malaga now, guys. Um, so we're really making some headway to get down there. We are doing a bit of more driving than we'd hoped, um, but that means we're getting ahead of ourselves and hopefully we'll have a couple of days in the bank to slow down, maybe when we get to Algarve, if we go to Portugal. We're not stopping off and trying every campsite. We're just picking the ones that we really fancy. So there may be plenty of room on some of the ones we've not tried. Guys, let us tell you a story of how we found this magic place we're at right now. It was a bit of a journey. <laughs> so we left um, Dom Cactus, the campsite we tried to check into yesterday. They were full. Yeah, they were full and they were tiny as well very small yeah. but I managed to just get in turn around and get back out of there and it was getting on I think it was kind of five o'clock by this time and I figured do we really need a campsite maybe we can find an air with services an air with electric right yeah so we had a good search around and 
got closer to Malaga and there were five or six that we could see that were airs with at least electric and other services as well. And Lindsay just found this one with no reviews? No reviews and just a few pictures that didn't really look that inspiring, <laughs> actually. <laughs> but something just led us to come in here. Yeah, sometimes you get a sense, a little spidey sense, an instinct. And it was a challenge coming here. Let me tell you, it was a challenge. Um, don't come the way we came. No. We're coming down the road. It's getting tighter and tighter. Um, cars parked either side of the road. And at one stage, in fact, I, I'm, I'm gutted I didn't have the camera rolling, guys. But it that was That was stressful. my fault. It was very <laughs> stressful. I was worried. I, I was there to help Steve. Supportive. <laughs> Supportive wife. <laughs> but uh, um, at one stage, I had to stop and get out. And there was a jeep in the way um, and literally I, I got out opened the door took the handbrake off and wheeled it out of the way so I could get past they just stopped the car here and just walk away yeah there was no phone number on like Portugal <laughs> no so I wheeled the jeep out of the way managed to get going and I just squeezed down this road and I, I'll show you how tight it is in a second yeah. um, but we managed to get down here and they were surprised when we got to the end because it isn't the main entrance that we need to be at so we got an easier way out but anyway, um, let's show you um, the entrance and show you how tight this is. You'll see here how tight things are. <laughs> and we had to get our big one through here. And this isn't the tightest part either. Back there was way, way tighter. And you see how tight it is to get in this gate? I mean, he's having a problem. Can you imagine what we were doing? <laughs> so you've got cars parked either side. There's the beach just right over there. Beautiful beach. And they're struggling to get in over here. Anyway, the locals came, um, moved some cars so we could shimmy into this space over here. And he's in. But anyway, the problem we had, we was grinding out. See this ridge here? You see the marks from our exhaust down here. So what they did is we've got our front wheels here and they put some pallets under our back wheels to lift the back of the camper van up so we could get in down here. There's a little bit of the story that you missed. We were kind of stuck because we couldn't go back the way we came because <laughs> it's one way and very narrow. And we couldn't go out that way because the, the road undulates even more. So we would definitely be grounding out that way as well we had to get in this way <laughs> and then get out the other way but as they tell us the main entrance is the other side so yes. i'm gonna gonna do something on google maps to show you guys the way not to come in yes. and the better way to come in so you're not going to be stuck <laughs> like we were but fortunately the locals helped us pallets under the rear wheels lifted the rear of the camper up and we got in and i got none of that on camera I'm yeah. sorry. I'm really sorry. It I was, was just stressful. a little bit too worried. It was stressful. <laughs> I thought we'd be looking for an exhaust centre or something. Anyway, let's show you the um, the air that we found. The beach is El Hornilo Player. And the, the air is the only air on here. There'll be a uh, link in the description. There'll probably be a what three words, right? What three words? To the other entrance. <laughs> to the other entrance. Mikey! Hello. Mikey! <laughs> Morning, my man. How are you? You all good? Bien, bien. Bien, bien. 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 <laughs> this is Mikey, guys. Mikey. 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 Hey. <laughs> right, let's go and find Anna. Yes? yes, let's go find Anna. So this is Anna. This place is run by a family. Tell me about your family and how you found this place. Okay, so my uncle, like, we have lived in a house, like, near here, like, for 13 years old. So my uncle saw this place and he was like, I'm going to build an area here. So he had a very good eye because we, are, we have been open for two months and it's full. So we are, like, <laughs> very, very happy to be here and to serve all, all these people. Yeah. How many places have you got? Uh, 100. 100? Yeah, wow. 100. Yeah, we have 100, but now for COVID, yeah. we have like the 75% only okay. because of 
security for everyone. Yep. And there is electric, yes, yeah. as well. Which That's is what attracted cool. us so we could run the air conditioning last night. But right? we didn't really need it. We last didn't night. need it. It was quite no. cool with the because, sea breeze. Yeah, because of the wind. Yeah. yeah. Thank you, Anna. No. It's been so lovely to stay. Oh, thank you so much. It's such a beautiful spot. We're so thank you. So happy for you. Oh, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> After squeezing us down the drive through the wrong gates into their wonderful air, they actually found us a special pitch because our door opens the opposite way to most people here. They've given us a pitch and a half. Well, practically two pitches. <laughs> 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 we have been made to feel so welcome by the family. We've even met Nana. <laughs> it's wonderful. The toilet sink and showers here are fantastic. They're lovely and clean. They smell fresh and they're kept nice and fresh all day. There's an Elson point just over here. On washing up facilities are by the motorhome service point. So you can top up and empty your water here. And we have recycling bins here too. As the site's only two months old, these palm trees are going to grow bigger. They're just new at the moment, as new as the, the um, site. So hopefully in a few years, they'll provide a bit more shade. So the kids are taking the mickey out of me now. They're calling me Borat. So we've had Mikey, my new mate, want to bring his kids in to have a look at the motorhome. And of course I'm going, this is where I sleep. And <laughs> this is where Lindsay sleep. <laughs> and they're saying I'm sound like Borat. I don't know what you think, guys. <laughs> We're all frantically trying to disassociate ourselves with them. Not with us. Not with us. He's not ours. <laughs> I sleep here. My wife, she sleep here. <laughs> <laughs> there is no sheet on the bed. <laughs> Can we go to the beach, please? Hello. To the beach. <laughs> There's the sea, there's my chair, there's the air, and there's last night's restaurant. We've walked two minutes away from our pitch up for tonight and we found a little restaurant that Anna recommended called La Isla. And thankfully they've got a, an English version of their menu because it's all fish that we don't recognise because we don't get it in the UK. Have a look how close we are to the beach. How gorgeous! You know you're a Brit abroad when you want your dinner at half past eight in the evening and the Spanish don't come out until ten o'clock at night. Look how empty this place is. <laughs> but we know it's busy later on. <laughs> Garlic and chilli prawns. Oh. You better eat some steam otherwise you're going to be uh, dragon breath tomorrow. <laughs> So we've just had a wonderful, healthy salad for lunch. That uh, I created. That Lindsay created. Yeah, I put it together. So, and then after lunch, I just thought, listen, I, it, the breeze is quite mild right now. It was windy yesterday. So I thought, let me um, maybe fly the drone. But I also thought, let's go and ask Anna. Let's be polite and go and ask if it's okay if I just fly the drone and get some aerial shots of the air. Um, I turned up and they were having lunch and they just put a paella and a glass of wine in my hand. <laughs> so I've gone and left the drone there <laughs> and brought back some wonderful paella. Um, that, we got that. Apparently their nan, her nan who's 92, made the paella for everyone today, including us, and a lovely glass of chilled red wine. I can get, kind of get the hang of this chilled red wine. Yeah, so let's try this paella and red wine. Mm, really, mm, really beautiful. Would you like me to tackle a prawn for you? Yeah, would you? Mm, it is superb. So a second lunch, eh? <laughs> <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. I really need to do some more yoga. A cold red wine. 
I'm more of a white wine person because it's out of the fridge. I didn't think that cold red wine was a thing, so I'm back into red wine again, cold red wine. Right, I'm going to leave you guys there, and I'm going to tuck into the rest of this. But believe me, it's beautiful, and the hospitality, just fantastic. Right, I'm going to finish up this red wine, and go back up there and get my drone and do this flyover to show you guys what this place looks like. But it's not the looks that are that impressive. You know, you just need to be here and feel you know, the love and happiness of everyone here. And the beach is just out there on the doorstep. That's what this place is about. beach was real busy earlier it was packed down here but it's cleared out a bit now as you can see but we had a lovely swim in the sea with George earlier the other two weren't so fussed I don't know I wanted swimming pools but um anyway we're gonna head down and uh, there was a table tennis table just down the beach so the boys have challenged me to a game of table tennis here's the restaurant we had out at last night oh that's a fire fantastic great food last night there fantastic food and not too expensive either and here's the table tennis table on the beach Georgie it's late you're still in the park yeah well <laughs> Have you buried your feet? Oh, hold on. Cue cool music. The <laughs> rocks really hurt your feet. Right, you are minging and going to have to have a shower before bed, you know that. Oh, fine. Okay, it's a little overcast today, but that's okay because it's nice and cool. And we're moving on today. Um, Lindsay is getting on with some yoga. <laughs> All right, my love. <laughs> but we're heading further down the coast today and hopefully we're gonna meet up with Alex and Amy. So there is Wi-Fi here, but it's just by the house and uh, the kids have spent a few hours in the evenings catching up with YouTube, sat at the house, which is lovely. It's just outside the house. It's like sitting outside your friend's house. Okay, in these popular airs, um, certainly if it's quite busy there's only one service point it gets pretty busy kind of mid to late morning when people are getting ready to check out and doing service on their camper as you'll see here we've got one guy in there now and another couple waiting to go so you've really got to plan your exit of these airs if you need to drop your grey waste you need to replenish your fresh you need to plan ahead because it does get busy late morning or mid to late morning okay I'll turn next to uh, use the services soon as he's gone we'll get in there so uh, some of you guys who've got motorhomes um, would know that your grey tanks after a while start to smell they smell worse than the toilet when it's stagnant water sat in there in this blistering heat so we take this opportunity to use some cassette clean flusher and we've now filled um, what well, I say filled we probably put about a quarter of a tank um, of warm water in there um, what we're going to do now is dry for a few miles splush it about a bit and then we'll empty it and that will give it a good flush through that we like to do every now and again okay and this is the good way out this is the way I will show you on the map that you need to come in and out it might look like a, a rough road but it's much better than the way we came in so um, I'll show you directions for that now the what three words location will take you to the red pin at the top of the map from there just follow the dirt track south for a few hundred meters and you'll be at the campsite that was a gorgeous stop with a gorgeous family they were so welcoming and just glorious right next stop let's go see alex and amy uh -huh. 